Okay, so now that we've had a look at some vectors and we understand the idea of a vector and um, we looked at some units that we measure in, we're going to look at two specific vectors called displacement and velocity. Now, displacement's quite easy to understand. If you imagine there's something traveling through space, it doesn't matter, that can be a car traveling or a fly flying, anything that travels through space then there's two things that we can measure about um, in terms of length traveled. So for the one thing we can do is we can measure distance. Now distance we said is a uh, scalar, okay? in other words it only has size and distance would be going along this road and measuring the distance literally that was traveled. Displacement however is Okay, so displacement, we can maybe say it's the shortest distance between two points in space. The shortest distance between two points. Okay, in space. I'm just going to stop here between two points. So here we have, this is where he started and that is where he ended okay and displacement is then to connect those two dots right there with a straight line because that's the shortest distance and also it has direction so here you can see if we were to put down a, a compass direction where that's north okay then we can go and measure a, a bearing here on this side so there we go, we have indicated, let me use a different color so it's a bit more clearer. Okay, there we go, we have a, an arrow because he started here and he ended there. So it's a vector. Displacement is a vector, the shortest distance between two points and just remember it also has an angle. That is what we call displacement. Now, depending on the speed that he's traveling along here it will take him some time to get from this point to that point so however long this is that would be time okay however long time is okay and during this time period he's traveling at different speeds okay so sorry that's not a vector he would be traveling at some speed, at different points he might be traveling at different speeds. But again, speed is just the rate at which his distance is changing over time. Now forget about that for one moment. Let's get to velocity. Velocity is defined, okay, so let me write it here. Velocity is defined as the displacement over time okay so that might sound a little bit weird like what do you mean by displacement over time that literally means for every second for every second whoa How far was it displaced? Okay, so let me look at an example. If I said that velocity, so the velocity is equal to 2 meters per second. Do you see that per second? It means that every second that went by, the displacement was two meters. So after one second, two seconds, three seconds. So every second being two meters, two meters, two meters, etc. until we get to the end. That's just an example. Okay. Now obviously he didn't that that's not necessarily true. Okay, because after two seconds he might have been there. Okay, that's not necessarily two meters later. Okay, so velocity 
we get average velocity average velocity and average velocity is calculated by changing the taking the displacement okay and for displacement we're going to use x or we might use s okay that represents displacement I'm going to stick with x displacement and it's going to be divided with time because we want it per second so we divide with seconds okay and um, what does this delta mean well delta simply means that it's the change in displacement so for example I might have already um, traveled whatever that is okay let's say there's three points then I might have already displaced that direction and that direction and I want the average velocity for this displacement okay that means I've already had some sort of displacement let's call it x1 okay so at this point I have displacement let's make it even easier let's say I've already had 20 meters displacement okay and now later on now I have another 40 meters of displacement that's now in total and the total displacement is 40 meters I just want the second part in other words I take 40 meters minus 20 meters divided by the time okay this is the change in displacement okay okay I'm all over the show but there we go here we have our formula for average velocity it's the change of displacement over the time now again the time also needs to be the change in time so if this was four seconds and that was two seconds so after two seconds I was here okay after two seconds I was there and after four seconds I was there which means that this second part took only two seconds again that's the change in time from change in time is time 2 minus time 1 in other words 4 minus 2 uh, that's just a rough explanation of this all okay just one more thing we also get instantaneous velocity okay instantaneous velocity okay so that's exact that's exactly what the word suggest is the velocity at in an instant so imagine something is traveling from this point to that point taking this route okay we know that that route that's the distance okay and the displacement is from this point to that point a straight line well supposed to be a straight line I'm struggling to draw a straight line here okay that's a displacement so the velocity the average velocity that I'm going to put as that the average velocity will be calculated by taking this displacement okay the change in displacement and dividing it by the time it took me to do this whole displacement process okay so whatever that is the change in time now obviously this might not be the case I might be going over mountains or however this thing is traveling sometimes going downhill going faster so at different points in on my route I'll be going at different um, speeds actually and which actually means is if I want to know what the instantaneous velocity is I'm going to have to look at two points that's very close to each other like those two points and I'll have to take this distance between those two points okay which will be the displacement between those two points and then work out what that velocity is that will be instantaneous velocity I don't know how let, let me show it like this let's say that's instantaneous velocity okay which means I'm gonna have to take instantaneous displacement okay which means how much am I actually doing every second this very second ok 
okay so what you'll notice is that this time gets very short very small okay because the points are closer together so it happens quicker and the smaller I make this time in other words this thing is tending towards zero I'm trying to make my the time limit that I'm measuring smaller and smaller which means it's closer to zero then I'll get closer and closer to what is actually an instantaneous velocity the velocity at that point that's something once you do derivatives later on in your um, mathematical career actually you should understand that a bit better but for now all you need to understand is that instantaneous velocity is the velocity at a specific instance while average velocity is taking the total displacement over the total time it took to do that displacement. Now just one more thing that I need to add is that velocity is a vector. Okay, velocity is a vector which means it's got both quantity which is me measured in meters per second and it's got direction and obviously its direction is the same direction as the displacement that we were looking at okay so if I worked out the velocity between these two points by taking the displacement between those two points then this arrow would also be able to represent the velocity velocity is also a um, vector that will have the same bearing as the displacement. Cool.